in this sector of Northern Liberties, until you get over to the river, this is the only remnant of industrial heritage left. It's always been in the back of our minds. This was the, the ideal space to move into. The brewery was over on this site, the bottling plant on this site, another brewery up the street. Where the trucks backed in to get the bottles of beer to go back out to deliver, you know, created a, a wonderful uh, prototyping space for us. The main design space, you know, on the upper level, level two, is the old bottling uh, and um, beer bottling portion. But we get abundant natural light in here, so it makes an ideal office, but particularly an ideal architect's office. One of the unique things about this space is that the furniture is all on wheels. We're not locked into partitions and, and, and stationary desks where they have to pick up all their gear and move it independently. They can just unplug their phone and unplug their computer on, the, on their desktop and move all their gear to another place and they can be working with another team in 15 to 20 minutes. Individuals work in a variety of different types of teams and we also work in a lot of different spaces and having a building like this lets us move upstairs, I can move down to the shop, I can be in a conference room, I can be at my desk drafting and it creates different interactions that we can have as a team. Um, so that's part of the whole idea of our you know, desk being wheels which is maybe a different time scale. So as we move between projects, we move kind of literally around the office, but then obviously on a day-to-day -day basis, being able to go downstairs and have a conversation or work on a particular project in the shop, come back upstairs and do another activity. Um, I think it tracks the variety of the type of work that we do in the space. And you know, our old building wasn't as responsive or conducive to that. We have a lot of ability to modify this space. Um, with the shades that go up and down, with all of the movable partitions, all the conference rooms, and we're always kind of shifting for whatever we need to do on that day. So it feels more, more like the space responds to us, this great shell, than like we just fit into the little cubicles or boxes or fixed rooms.